hello friends in this video i will show you how to create the admin account and limited access account to access your semantic admin control panel so if any newcomer joins in your team you can create that account for the, that person so i will show you first of all login semantic admin panel with the admin id here you can see at the left hand side admin tab at last you can select that one there you can see only single id which is a system administrator id you can create a new one then go to add an administrator there are three tab general access rights and authentication at general you can enter username full name then after that email email id is also most required then there is three option at bottom first one is lock the account after the specified number of unsuccessful login attempt uh, it mean if you tried with wrong password then how many attempt you select then after that lock the account for the specific number of minutes after that it's auto automatically unlocked then there is one tab if you check here then email alert will go to admin administrator when your account is locked at access right there is three type of access first one is system administrator then administrator and then after that limited administrator uh, system administrator uh, have the full permissions all area of sem semantic endpoint protection it mean uh, yes access on all of the domains all of the sites and administrator has full access and full permission with a single domain only then after that limited administrator you can grant the permission to limited administrator according to your requirement I will show you there are some tabs. First one is view report. If you give that access, then they can view the report. This tab, and if you want to restrict any of the particular system detail and any of the particular group detail, you can mention here. Then after that, manage groups. You can. manage the group access here if you want to grant full access then select this one if you want to grant no access it mean uh, that person have not been access of that particular group and after that read only access which whatever you required here select it then after that remotely run command if you enable this then they can have the access to run this command which you required select that one otherwise uncheck and okay if you can enable this one they can only be run run they can also run on read only group and after that site rights if you can select this one they can have the particular site access according to the permissions after that manage installation package so if you grant this permission read only then they can only read only access not the installation access 
if you grant full access then they can apply this package on all of the systems after that manage policies if you enable this one then they can also be manage the policy from this limited admin ID this one policy tab and after that authentication you can select this one if you want never be expired any password then select this one and you can set the password here password is minimum sorry then ok and your account will be great so account is created if you want to any changes in account so you can select this tab if you want to rename then rename here these are the tasks if you want to change the password then select this tab if you want to admin the administrator detail any type of detail then you can go here if you want to remove any of account then go to delete the admin account here so this is very simple process if you find my video is really helpful to you then please like and subscribe my videos and my channel thank you very much